Your head is looking at the scoreboard here after hitting the ball. You hold your racket with your left until my ball bounces to your side. If you enjoy watching my trainings, you should like and subscribe. We'll start with the forehand, our consistency and top spin. Not just the wrist, I want you to see you using your legs. Okay. Go to the service line. Start off first, play to the middle. Yeah. Okay? I'm more in front. Let's go. Ten. Very good. Nice using your legs, Alex. Very good. Very, very good. Hold your racket up. Nice. Again. Very good. Right, left. Go. Nice. Very good. Very good. Excellent timing. Nice, a little more clear over the net. Come on. Very nice. Excellent. Okay, one thing is very important and you do it maybe accidentally, maybe in purpose. I don't know, I'm gonna ask you. You hold your racket with your left hand like this, which is very good. But do you do it by accident or intentionally? By accident. Okay, so right now I want you to think a lot about it. I want to hold it longer because the ball is coming slower. Hold it and the last step is going forward. Which is the last step, right or left? Right. Left. Yes. It's going forward, correct. Very nice. Very nice. Excellent. Go. Very nice. Go. Keep better spacing. Out. Can we have the left arm straighter? Yes. Very nice. Go. Very nice. Again, are you going forward the last step? Thank you. Thank you. Nice. Very nice. Excellent. Very nice. So much better. You're focusing a lot on your timing right now. That was great. Can I have you now on the baseline? Do exactly the same thing. Better balance. Again. Excellent. Keep the left arm on the racket. Very nice. Again. Forward swing and up. Forward. Very good. Bend your knees more. Very good. Hold your racket. Nice. Okay. To do the timing better, you hold your racket with your left until my ball bounces to your side. When my ball bounces to your side, you can release it. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. Now, okay. I don't see a reason for you to go too far back all the time. Good. Very good. Very good, nice clearance. Nice clearance, go. Excellent. Okay, that's better? Yes. Okay, 
One information we did the last time, and I'm going to remind you, your head is looking at the scoreboard here, after hitting the ball. Do you understand? Yes. Let's see if you can do it. Bounce, bounce. Nice. Very good. Nice. Again, look to the scoreboard. Nice. Nice. Go a lot more forward. Don't go too far back. Stay where you are. Stay where you are. Excellent. Maybe take it early. Nice. It's a lot better. Nice. You take it early. Nice. Hold your racket at the end. Very good. Go. Look at the scoreboard. Again. Go. Nice. Go. Very good. Go. Excellent. Now go quick. Stay where you are. Go. Forward. Don't go back. Come on. Hold your ground. Very nice. Go. Keep it up. Go. Right. It stays up. Nice. Go. Hold your ground. Again. Space. Bravo. Go. Nice. Move up. Very nice. Good consistency. That was easy or hard? Easy. You make it to look easy. There's always room to do better. Now I'm going to ask you to give me regular shots. What is a regular shot? You end right here. Where? Uh, at the shoulder. Below or over your shoulder? Over. Over the shoulder. Let me see how well you would do that. Ready? You say over the shoulder, right? Good. Can we do close stand? Very good. After hit the ball, freeze. Freeze. Okay. It goes down and then goes up. Consistently up. Okay? Okay. Ready. Excellent. You backed up too much. Hold the ground. Again. Again. Okay, that's all right. Go. Oh, close stand. Very good. Very good. Hold your racket up. Very good. Come on, spacing better. Very good. Hold your racket up. Okay. We're going to do something different. After hit the ball, stop for three seconds. You have to be in balance. Has to be consistently like this a racket. Racket next to your ear. Okay. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. Much better sound. Let's go. Much better. Do you understand how the quality is better? Yes. The previous 10, 15 balls, you're moving way too much. You have to control your body. Let's go again. Play cross court your shot now. Go. Very nice. Still holding your racket. Come on, hold, hey, stop, hold for three seconds. Ready, hold, I move you, see if you can balance. Hold, nice, back up, go. Fantastic, go back, crossover step, right? Go, hold, crossover, very nice. Close stand. Very nice. Recover. Hold your racket with purpose. Come on. 
Very nice. Go back. Very nice. Hold your racket up. Nice. Very good. Can you be more explosive? Do you understand explosive means? No. I want you to bend more and go quicker your racket and stop. Show me. Hold your racket. Control your body. Very nice. You can do more explosive your racket. Again, see if you can control your body. Space. Very nice. Good sound. Ready. Very nice. Go. Come on. Be faster with your racket. Bravo. Can you go faster? Yeah. Bend your knees and go fast. Very good spin. Heavy ball. Go. Close rest stance. Show me if you can drive your legs a little more. Again. Bend your knees and go up to it. Very good. Be explosive. Again. Keep looking at the scoreboard. It's going to help you. Nice. The ball is much higher. Very nice. Give me a nice extension with purpose. Very nice. Extension through the ball. Faster. Go. Come on. One more. Stay there. Give me one good one. That was okay. Good job. Get some water. Do you understand? Yes. Why I ask you to freeze after hit the shot? Why? To be more in balance. Why you gonna be in balance? So I don't like fall apart. Is the court slippery or stable? Slippery. Slippery. So you, by being consciously about it, your upper body is focusing to be more stable on the ground. It's not like you want to be out of balance. Sometimes the court is not appropriate, it's more drier in certain areas. You might not have clay court shoes, it's no big deal. You can still control it yourself, do you understand? Yes. By freezing in, you're controlling, you understand the racket, you understand the head position, so you have to be aware of what you're doing. I can tell you hit the ball very hard. It doesn't matter how hard you hit it. You have to control your body. I can tell you hit super control, but don't go slow, go quick behind the ball. There's certain core information that has to be constantly doing it, doing it, doing it, regardless what shot you do, regardless what surface you do. Get some water or do something different okay. when you come back. So pretty much on clay, we want to reinforce the young kids to build the points, work the point better, hit the ball with more top spin being explosive is then like you not know, pushing the ball because if they try to decelerate the racket the ball is going nowhere because the ball is heavier naturally on clay so they have to be able to generate more power by being relaxed with the arm with the fingers and really extend the follow through up that's why i ask him to finish over the shoulder constantly so he's getting used to it. He's using the score he's using the hips and also he's loading every time so it's a repetition of muscle memory. So hopefully he will continue to apply this information to hardcore. It's the same principle, nothing changed.